welcome into Texans Today. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs, and we've got a fully packed show for you today. So strap in, ladies and gentlemen. The latest Texans injury news and around the Browns, some surprising injury news there as well. Stay tuned for that. Texans, I'm going to tell you who needs to step up on Saturday. If we want to leave Saturday with a playoff win, I'll let you know who exactly needs to step up. And Bobby Slowick getting a little bit more interest. The rumors are heating up about him possibly getting a head coaching uh, job. I'll tell you about that at the very end of today's show. But it's almost game day, baby. We're a couple days away. Are you excited for some Texans playoff football? If, if so, spam LFG in the chat right now. I want to see who's with me. Who's going to be riding with me on Saturday when we're live here on the channel? That's why you got to subscribe, youtube.com slash Texans TV. But if you're pumped, I want to see a 1,000 LFGs in the, in the chat. H-Town, hold it down. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Get those LFGs in the chat because our guy right here, he's ready to go. Defensive player of the month, Derek Stingley. Drop the Bs down in the comment section as well. Stingley doing his thing, getting the honors for Defensive Player of the Month. Just wanted to give him a quick shout-out before we get into today's injury news. So first up, possibly the best news of the day. I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, let's freaking go. Jonathan Grenard, according to Aaron Wilson, is good to go on Saturday. Grenard came back, is practicing today, and apparently he's all set go for this Saturday. Same with Will Anderson. He was at practice today as well. We're going to have the pass rush duo. This ain't week 16. This is not the same Texans team that the Browns whooped up on during the regular season. So it should be a great game for your Houston Texans on Saturday, as well as the wide receivers. Noah Brown is back at practice today. He is trending in the right direction. I'm not going to say he's good to go. I'm not going to say that we'll expect to see him, but he is trending in the right direction. But somebody who we should see on Saturday is one Robert Woods. He should be good to go. Said he felt a lot better today coming back from that hip injury. As you remember, week 18, he was trying to come back for, uh, for that Colts game, but was not able to do so. Worked out before the game. It didn't feel right, so he didn't play. But after a couple days of practice this week, Robert Woods, should be good to go on Saturday. And going across the enemy lines, the other side, they're actually the ones with more of an injury bug going into this game, even though I do have to say the Browns, Texans, two of the most injured franchises throughout this NFL season. But the big news, Denzel Ward, you see on the bottom left of your screen, questionable, got injured in practice today. Is questionable to return on Saturday. Not what you want to see at all. Hurt in practice, I mean, you hate to see it for the young kid, Denzel Ward, out of Ohio State. Along with that, Grant, Del Grant Delpit was ruled out. Cedric Tillman ruled out. Dustin Hopkins, their kicker, ruled out. He went to my high school, Clear Lake High School, represent. Um, some questionable guys, Juan Thornhill, Mike Ford, Pierre Strong, all questionable to return. But the big one, bottom left hand of your screen, Denzel Ward. And as I mentioned earlier, we'll be going live this Saturday. Join the party because we're going to be getting down here on Texans today. Texans, Browns, subscribe today. Join me for the watch party. It's going to be a hell of a time. If you haven't been to one of our watch parties, it's absolutely electric. I'm giving you free play-by-play. -play. Also, going to have a couple giveaway items, an autographed giveaway item. I'm, I'm going to give you one clue. That's all you get. An autographed item coming this Saturday. So subscribe right now. Join me for Texans versus Browns this Saturday. Now, getting into some guys who need to step up. I'm going to go on the offensive side of the football first. Drew Scruggs, he's been one of my losers after these past couple of weeks. I need him to step up with this Browns defensive line, Miles Garrett, Zadarius Smith. They're going to be doing a lot of stunts. I would, I would put my money on they're going to be attacking Drew Scruggs on a couple of stunts where they go inside. Maybe a DT or a linebacker overlaps over the top. They're going to be going after him, so Juice needs to step up and protect C.J. Stroud on Saturday. Another guy who needs to step up, Devin Singletary. He's been doing well as the RB1, but I want to see more out of him. This is the playoff game. It's all or nothing. Balls to the wall. I need to see Devin Singletary step up for this Texans offense. Another guy, Dalton Schultz. Um, 
I showed you those receivers coming back from injury. Nico Collins, obviously, huge for the Texans' offense. But I really think the Browns, their defensive strategy is going to be trying to take Nico out of the ball game, And that's why I really have these two guys right here, Devin Singletary, Dalton Schultz. I think those are the two next best guys that the Texans have in terms of offensive weapons on this team. So I'm really looking at Dalton Schultz and Devin Singletary to give me some juice on Saturday. No pun intended for Mr. Scruggs. And my last offensive player who needs to step up, and it's no surprise here, it's our guy. It's the franchise. It's the wheeling, dealing, profiling, pro styling QB1, the franchise man for your Houston Texans, C.J. Stroud. Yeah, he will be rocking and rolling for your Texans this Saturday, and I expect the rookie to show out. Hey, D'Amico Ryan said this guy, he's built for this. He's ready for this. No moment is too big for the young kid. So, I'm going to be looking for C.J. Stroud to have another masterpiece, a masterclass of a game from our franchise guy, C.J. Seven, C.J. Stroud. Yeah! Expect a big game out of our QB1. But let me know. This isn't Jeremy Sports. This is Chad Sports. I want to hear from you folks at home. Who on offense needs to step up against the Browns? The Texas player on offense that needs to step up versus the Browns is? Finish the sentence for me. Let me know down in the comments section who you think needs to step up for our Houston Texans. Now, coming up, I'm going to give you some defensive players that need to step up in this game. But before I do that, got to give you an opportunity to get some AFC South Championship swag. I mean, your Houston Texans, worst odds at the beginning of the year from any team in the entire National Football League to win their division. And who would have thought? The Texans are AFC South champs. If you want to get some swag like this, our friends at Fanatics, they're hooking you up with great deals. Go to chatsports.com slash Texans champ. They got hats. They got hoodies. They got beanies, long sleeve, athletic shirts. They got it all. Go shop right now. Get our swag with our friends from Fanatics. Go to chatsports.com slash Texans champ and get your swag today and rep some AFC South championship gear because, hey, the Texans, they absolutely earned it. Now going to some defensive players that need to step up. First guy, Will Anderson. Jonathan Grenard, he's back, but we still need Will Anderson to show out. Jonathan Grenard, first game off of injury after getting injured in Week 16 against the Cleveland Browns. I expect him to you know, make an impact in this game, but I really want to see Will Anderson make one as well. The third overall pick out of Alabama, he should have a good game and we really need to get after Flacco if this defense wants to have a better game than they did in Week 16. Now, speaking of Week, week 16, Amari Cooper absolutely burned the entire Texans secondary. So I'm really looking at Derek Stingley, who I mentioned earlier in the program, was the player of the month for the AFC on the defensive side. Really want to see him lock down Amari Cooper. I don't care if he's on the left side or right side. I'd really like to see Stingley shadow him throughout the game. And if not Stingley... If he goes to the other side, I really need this next guy to step up, and that's Steven Nelson because the Browns beat you last time with their passing attack and Joe Flacco. Their run game really didn't do a ton against the Texans. I mean, they were able to do whatever they wanted on offense, but in reality, their passing game really propelled them to a victory. So Derek Stingley, Steven Nelson, and on the back end, Jalen Petrie. He, you know, he's been the starter throughout the whole year. He was actually benched in that Cleveland Browns game because he did not play well. So, the secondary, I'm looking at you right now. This is a statement game. They made you their little B in week 16. So now you got to come out in this wild card game and show them that you deserve some respect or else it's going to be some changes this offseason in the Texans secondary. So I want to ask you this question really quick. Mari Cooper went off for over 200 receiving yards in his last matchup against the Texans. Are you going more or less than 76 and a half yards for Amari Cooper? This was his stat projection when I looked it up with our friends over at Prize Picks. But what say you? More or less than 76 and a half yards for Amari Cooper? Give me M for more, L for less. Really interested on what you got to say. Now, but before we go, Bobby Slowick, the Texans' offensive coordinator, he's been garnering more and more and more interest as the offseason goes. We're up to eight head coaching slots open in the National Football League. I mean, what is that? That's a, a fourth of the jobs open for the NFL. So Bobby Slowick, obviously, what he's done with C.J. Stroud and this Texans offense, he's been garnering a ton of attention. 
First, it was the Panthers. Now, the Commanders have requested an interview with Slowick, where he was a coach 2011, 2013. He was a coach. I mean, who wasn't a coach on that team? Mike McDaniel, Kyle Shanahan, Matt LaFleur, it's McVay. They were all coaches on that team. Like, I, th I feel like that coaching list just continues to expand as we go throughout the years. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, Nick Saban was on that squad. And, you know, Bill Belichick, he was there. And Andy Reid was a quality control guy on that Washington team. Bobby Slowick, though, one of the guys on that infamous Washington coaching staff. And this is what Slowick had to say about him garnering coaching interviews. He said, I'm locked in on Cleveland. Very grateful and thankful for the opportunity. Right now, I'm a Houston Texan. Everyone's energy is devoted to how do we keep playing one more game? And I absolutely love it. I'm wishing the best for Bobby Slowick. Before I said, I don't know if he gets a head coaching job, but now that there's so many openings, I think he might be gone after this season for the Houston Texans. So we got to enjoy it while we last. We got to go all the freaking way to the Super Bowl. And then he definitely will get a head coaching job. But regardless, it's one step at a time. Wild card round. Browns at Texans. Browns three-point favorites over under set at 44. So should be a good matchup. One more time, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join me on Saturday because we're going to have a hell of a time rooting on our Houston Texans. And if you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs, giving you more Texans news and rumors, the dankest memes on the internet. So don't miss out. Join the channel. Join me this Saturday. I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready for a Texans dub. Our Browns host, Matthew Peterson, has been talking a lot of smack this week. Oh, yeah, Joe Flacco, Amari Cooper, they're your daddy. Yeah, I'm tired of it. I'm ready to shut his ass up on Saturday behind our guy, our quarterback. If you want to join me on this one, our, our, my producer right now, Producer Smitty, he absolutely loves this one. Our quarterback, our franchise, C.J. Stroud. Yeah! yeah.